Previously, the house descended into chaos. David's dead. Oh, who can't? Who can't? You told me that David is dead. David? Yes, it's fine. She told me that David died. It's a mess. It's the wrong David. Tiffany. 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 Why that? That's that. Take the yellow. She has to go. People don't want you here. I'm not apologizing to that old bitch. I'm glad. I'm glad that the truth comes out. Tonight, housemates get strung up. Megan McKenna always has a face like a smack task. <laughs> <laughs> the most boring. Daring. Oh, man. It's nominations. Bosses me about really disrespectful. It irritates me. It doesn't clean. It doesn't cook. Called me a creature. The housemates facing eviction are. I weren't expecting that. And the celebs are at breaking point. I need to eat food. I'm starving. I'm hungry. Starving sleds all night. And then you do this to me. I would never have done that to him in a million years. Dan, yeah. please talk to me. I'm not furious, I'm just hurt. Now he's like a mess. Very sick. I'm your friend. That's what I thought, mate. Eight a.m. After a dramatic day yesterday, the housemates have woken up to find the house revamped into a puppet world. Guys, you've got loads more stuff here. It's the first shop and task, and housemates will have to complete challenges in order to win a luxury shop and budget. Ah. Big Brother provided the housemates with costumes and makeup to transform themselves into puppets and puppet masters. Oh! Oh, you What's caught the matter? skin! Puppets must serve, respect, and obey their puppet masters, or they risk failing the task and missing out on luxury shopping. John, you are the puppet master of Tiffany. Angie, you are the puppet master of Danielle. Nancy, you are the puppet master of Scotty T. Gemma, you are the puppet master of Christopher. Jeremy, you are the puppet master of Megan. Christina, you are the puppet master of Darren. Due to medical reasons, David will not be taking part in the task and is resting in Big Brother's spare bedroom. So Stephanie will also be controlled by Gemma. Puppets are not permitted to eat any of the Puppet Master's food. Puppet food will be provided by Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> the Puppet Masters are starting to assert their authority. Could you peel the banana from me? Oh, you don't make me do this. Are you allergic? <laughs> no, if you're not allergic, peel it. Thank you very much. <laughs> this power is getting me very hot. Could you feed me this, please? Yes. Yes, Puppy Master. Mm. This is it nice, Puppy mm. Master? Mm. Do you like bananas? <laughs> They're tasty. Do you want to try some? I'm okay, thank you, Puppy okay. Master. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. That's very good. Is that good pressure? Very good pressure. You can do it yeah. more. Even stronger, more pressures. Yeah. Could you give uh, Stephanie a kiss on the lips? <laughs> what do you think? Like smell of garlic. <laughs> Scotty? <laughs> I can't get to you. Bit of tongue, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany is alone in the garden. Yeah. Yesterday, housemates were upset with her behaviour following a misunderstanding. Oh, y'all don't want to deal with me. Then darling, don't. Darling. Then don't. Somebody is grieving and has lost a family member. But that, Matt, that, That's the seriousness that, of it. But, but you, can't be, you be, can't be freaking out like that. She has to go. But the majority of people in here don't feel safe over here. Well, she then, has to go. People enough. don't want to be around you. Oh, they don't? No. That's too bad because I'm not just going to leave. Today, Puppet Master John mm. wants to discuss what happened. Do you think we can talk about that stuff yesterday, me and you? Yes. 
Mm-hmm. I just really want to make things better. If it's a possibility. I know that I got beside myself a couple of different times. So. Listen, I don't know you well. I, we don't know each other well. And this is, you know, how you make your money and this is what you do and this is what you're known for, you know, in a way. I know you can be volatile. I don't know, I just wonder what, 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 what it is that kicks that, that lights that fuse in you that makes you go I don't know. I'm not trying to tell you about yourself, but I must get in the way sometimes. It does. For you. That must it get in the, in the way of friendships, relationships. I must make it real way. lonely for you sometimes. Absolutely. It does. I would like to get on while I'm in here. I mean, I, I don't want to feel isolated. I don't want you to be isolated either. I don't, you know. And to be fair, you know, I know Angie can be volatile as well. And I know she can push buttons as well. And she's done it not just to you. She's done it to other people in the house as well. That's right. I, I just, I don't know. I don't want that for you. We're good, right? Yes. I missed you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> 1 52 pm as part of this week's task puppet masters are allowed to eat any food they like at any time whereas puppets can only eat basic food supplied to them by big brother oh are you having me on lunch is a mouth-watering lentil soup and crackers. <gasps> oh my god, it's cold! Uh, it's cold. Cracker? A cracker. A cracker. Is this one? St- is this still on? This hub? Is it still? Is it still switched on? They're cooking sausages. Are you having a laugh? But if some of them were in oh, this, they'd, they'd be like, "Do you think it's fair you're cooking all that nice that food? Point. Do you think that's fair that you're cooking all that nice?" That soup was so nasty. It's just because I'm tired. I wouldn't normally be like this. I wouldn't normally moan about it so much, but I'm just, I'm so tired. I can't sleep. Everyone snores. I can't fucking sleep. You're really grateful for what's happened to you in life, aren't you? Yeah. Mm, you can tell. Everything that I've done, I'm just like, it's sort of what I've always ever wanted mm. to do. Do you know what I mean? And that's so. what's lovely about you. Oh, yes, Gary done. helped you since then. Gary Barlow? Yeah. But he's dead nice. I mean, you know, with, like he just sends me, like he'll he'll phone me or email me. He'll say, right, there's tickets at the door for you and your mum or whatever to go and watch me show or this. Do you know what I mean? That's or really to come nice. to these parties or whatever. Yeah, it's dead nice. Megan is letting off steam in the diary room. Idiots out there are standing there cooking sausage sandwiches in front of us. Can you imagine if some of them were in the puppet things and then one of us went to cook all that food? I'm sure a few people would be like. Oh, that's a bit unfair. Oh, that's... No, but they're just scoffing their faces like fucking animals. Of course they are. I want to win and and don't let the group down. And then there's people cooking sausages. Do you want some beans with that, babes? Do you want anything else with the fucking sausages? I'm, I'm hungry. Who the hell wants to eat cold lentil soup? Who wants to stand there and eat cold lentil soup? It tastes like sick. It tastes like I'm sicking it up after a night out. That's what it tastes. I wouldn't even give my dog that. That's shit, mate. That's shit on a plate. It looks like someone's just done a shit in, my bo- in a bowl and giving it to me. All right, Megan. Well, if there's nothing else, you are free to return to the house. I can't believe this. It's an absolute joke. Are you alright? No. What's wrong? I'm just, just going crazy in there. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're all enjoying your sausage sandwiches in front of us. Thanks for the support, guys. Hope you're enjoying your food, guys. Puppet crew! 2.15pm. Gemma is talking about an ex. And when I popped to the shop, I was 10 minutes. He called me, where are you, my darling? He's called me Fluffy Cat. Where are you, my Fluffy Cat? Hurry up back. I really miss you. Come on. I said, I've only been gone 10 minutes. No, come on, babe. Come on, I've got a surprise for you. So I was getting all excited, thinking, 
oh my god, what's he done? Has he bought me flowers or something? Walked through the door, he'd fucked off and left. That was my surprise, he left me. Oh, Gemma. John is giving Darren some advice. It's not even that I want you to be, to not even be concerned about what people think about you. I want you to not worry yeah. about so much of it. Worry about some of it, of course, we all have to worry, we all worry about perception to some degree, but I feel, oh, I feel that, that, you, that is something that consumes you and in some ways it stops you from allowing yourself to just turn around someone and go, oh, you, what, what, you mental case? Oh, no. Then you go, oh my God, am I allowed to say that? Is, now is that person going to think oh, no. that I'm like, I'm, I'm this or that or the other? And it's like, oh, no, dude, no. it's an off-the-cuff oh, no. remark. And that, for me, I feel, that, uh, that saddens me for you that you feel that, that whatever's happened up to this point has made you doubt, doubt your own self to that degree when there is nothing wrong with you. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what, Joe? You've been a, such a, a, a great fucking inspiration to me in here and a great influence and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I really appreciate all the, all the support you've given me. And do you know what, today, I don't have a knot in my tummy today and it, it's, I, I feel like, I feel my shoulders feel I'm lighter, I feel in a lighter mood. I, I, I just, I, I don't feel that anxiety. I don't, I don't have that knot like I had all day yesterday. Coming up, puppets get stitched up. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> I can't. And John nominates face to face. The first housemate I wish to nominate is. <laughs> Three twenty seven PM For part of their shopman task, the puppet masters will be required to put their puppets through a series of cruel <laughs> challenges. Ah, oh, this is class. Puppet masters will control the puppets from on high and will pull their strings to indicate whether they want their puppets to take part. In order to pass the task, the housemates as a whole <laughs> must answer yes to at least half of all the questions. The first question is, would you like your puppet to state the name of the housemate they find the most boring? <laughs> this is Big Brother, Tiffany. You should now name the housemate that you think is the most boring. <laughs> Darren. Tiffany. 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 Angie. Tiffany. Nancy. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Puppet Masters, would you like your puppet? to name your worst character trait. I don't know what that means. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, you should now state John's worst character trait. I love you, Puppet Master. I could be wrong, but I think that Johnny is a bit arrogant. It's just an air about him. I don't think that he can help it. I think it's just engraved into who he is. Scotty T must describe Nancy's worst character trait. But she loves to boss me about. I don't think she can help it. I just think it's who she is. Darren must describe Christina's... Well, she made me do the washing up. <laughs> Stephanie and Christopher oh. must describe Gemma's character trait. Um, contradicting yourself sometimes. Um, like when you got involved with the arguing in the garden. I think you should have just stuck to what you thought. If you didn't like someone, then just stick with it. Yeah, I love you dearly, Gemma. Um, it's just sometimes when I speak, she sort of looks into or to the ceiling and switches off. But I don't know whether she's whether I'm because I'm boring, and um, she's or what. <laughs> Jeremy's worst character trait would probably be that I think he can be a bit lazy with cleaning, like never really does the washing up. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next question posed to the puppet masters is: Would you like to give your puppet? A smoking ban. Oh, oh, no. 
no, just don't do it, Jen. Jen will not will be fuming. I love you. That's all I've got, man. As Tiffany, Darren, Daniela and Megan have voted yes, they are no longer permitted to smoke till the end of the shopping task. If they do, they will incur a feel. Daniela gives you tabs. <laughs> <laughs> OK. The next question is, would you like your puppets to read mean tweets oh about themselves? Oh, oh bless you, Andre. Pipe down, Tiffany. Why is she acting for some camera time? Kieran Thomas, I'm annoyed with Scotty T and Megan, their mates outside. Never hooked up, but might do for some more airtime. Showmancers aren't everything. Hashtag celebrity big brother. You know. <laughs> Fuck your tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Day be dropping more names than the blooming electoral <laughs> register. That's so good. <laughs> Oh, man. Don't like Stephanie at all. Seems like a gobby, trouble-making shit stirrer. Next to go, followed by Jeremy. Cheers, doll. <laughs> Still watching, though, aren't you? Wait! It's quite funny, this, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> it is. It is funny. Christopher is too much in Daniela's arse. Someone pull him out. He's like a batch of piles. <laughs> <laughs> I love you right there, babe. I love you. You stay there. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> Uh, Megan McKenna always has a face like a smack tile, so she should smile more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Now oh. smile, Meg. Smile, big smile, there you go. Oh, Megs. Big Brother has asked the puppets if they would like to eat a century egg. A disgusting fermented egg. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Listen, whatever it is, it must be edible, yeah? Yeah. It stinks. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. How oh, is this happening to me? You can swallow worse, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh yes, God, Tiffany! I can't. <laughs> Look, if Tiffany can, you're going to let Tiffany beat you? I got them. OK, OK, give me some... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! You know what? Come on. <laughs> give me a minute. You've had worse I can't. 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 Chris, oh, Chris, 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 it's a beef burger. Go on, son. Just swallow it. No, I know it's a show. It's only one heat. Come on, Chris. Work it down. Come on, Chris. Go on, on Chris. Yay! Yes, yes, mate. You've done it. Well done. The public will love you for this. I can feel it. I can't believe that just happened to me. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> stinks. Oh, Chris! Oh, oh, man, I have splashed oh, back. Oh, Chris! I'm all right, I've got a Late last night, housemates had to nominate for this week's eviction. Having won immunity in a previous task, Tiffany cannot be nominated. My first nomination is Daniela because she snores louder than I do. Yeah, my first nomination is for David because he doesn't know how to work any of the kitchen utensils and I feel like he's mummy. He's gonna have to be Johnny. Because I didn't think it was fair that we that everyone was like leaving Tiff on her own. It's a mistake. Christina. At some point it's gonna become absolutely impossible for her to keep avoiding me. So I really think that the best way for her to avoid me is for her to leave. Scotty T. Because we're coming from different ages of space, different attitude, and his behavior is to scream sometimes, to keep the voice very loud. Jeremy! Jeremy, 
do with it what you will. Sometimes makes me feel uncomfortable or irritates me. Stephanie. I'm going to nominate Stephanie. It was quite clear that I was very upset about Cheebs. She didn't come over and just say to me, Jim, are you okay? I know Jeremy likes her, but there's a way to go about it and having a boyfriend doing that sort of thing I don't agree with. I just think it's bang out of order. My first nomination is Gemma. Gemma. Gemma Collins. I was chased around the house by her screaming at me. And Stephanie and I went and hid in the storage room. She was in the garden shouting stuff at Angie, like swearing, watch your fucking age and stuff like that. I thought it was really disrespectful. My first nomination is going to be Nancy. 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 Uh, Nancy. Nancy. She dictates to the house a little bit too much. She spoke down to quite a few people. She bosses me about. She acts like she's in a hotel. She doesn't clean. She doesn't cook. She does nothing. Angie. 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 The Angie. 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 She's the unhappiest person in here. I feel like this is the time that Angie needs to be with her family. I can see a lot of pain in this house for where she's rubbed housemates up the wrong way. She called me a creature. I don't think she should be here anymore. In a task earlier this week, John won the present of giving his noms face to face. <laughs> Give the name of the first housemate you want to nominate and your reasons for this nomination. The first housemaid I wish to nominate is Angie. Uh, I feel that sometimes you're quite volatile in this house and sometimes I feel that I don't know which Angie I'm going to get today. I think that's completely understandable considering the circumstances. You know that I adore you, but I don't think that this right now is the correct environment for you to be in. I know the reasons that you're here and I know that you would not walk out of this house. I think you should and I think it would be good if you had the opportunity to leave. Give the name of the second housemate you want to nominate and your reasons for this nomination. This is the difficult one but the second housemate I wish to nominate is Darren. Over the course of this week I've seen Darren go from a happy-go-lucky guy into somebody that has withdrawn. I've seen him pick up habits that he had discarded before he came into this house and he's using them as a coping mechanism. Well, let's just, just, just get it straight that, that that's the smoking and nothing else, okay? Yeah. It's, I'm smoking cigarettes, I'm not drinking, I haven't had a drink or anything Correct. like that. So let's just make sure that we get that clear. <coughs> and in some ways, I want my nomination to be the motivation for you to find other ways to cope in this house that aren't going to be detrimental to you once you leave. I'm sorry, mate, but that's how I feel. Sounds like a real friend. This is Big Brother. It's time to reveal the results of this week's nominations. The housemates facing this week's public vote for eviction are... Nancy. Stephanie, Angie, Jeremy, and Gemma. I don't want him to hate me. I'm fine. Gemma. See you both. Well, what is going to be furious with me for doing that? Please talk to me. I know you're furious at me right now. I'm not furious, I'm just hurt. Okay, I'll leave you two guys. That as well. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just say, he was please only one. Please talk to me, please. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute, John, yeah? Two. Fucking hell, man. Coming up, Darren is outraged. I would never have done that to him in a million years. And I've gone around and had a fucking drink, have I? And David takes control. Okay, could you rub the other foot? Okay. Summer could come early for you and a friend as Celebrity Big Brother is giving you the chance to shake off those winter chills and soak up some sun with a trip to the beautiful Maldives. 
You'll stay in a deluxe bungalow for 10 nights. Full board, all inclusive, at the five star Caroma Maldives, where you can enjoy daily snorkeling sessions on the house reef, experience a sunset and dolphin discovery cruise, or simply relax on the beach. We'll also include £2,000 spending money. So for your chance to win, take CBB to 65515 or post your name and phone number to CBB PO Box 7557 Derby DE10 MP. Text costs £1.50 plus one message at standard network rate. Lines close and the date shown on screen and three days later for postal entries. For rules and winners, go to channel5.com forward slash win. Good luck. Five fourteen pm. It's been seventeen minutes since John nominated Darren. You know he is extremely like vulnerable, which is which is not good. Like that 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 Tiffany thing, you know, like completely threw him off. Yeah. He was happy. He was like like you said, singing. Such a lovely guy. Everybody was like sort of happy to have him around. And now he's like a mess, which is so sad to see. You know, so sad. Angie is talking to Big Brother about being nominated face to face by John. I knew yesterday he was very, very, very sick of me. He was like really over it because of the issues of the last three days. So whatever his motives were, I'm just going to take it as uh, from the point of view of something that helps me. So do you think you've learned anything from John's nomination? No. <laughs> no. No, I know all that stuff already, and I don't need to be retaught it. I know who I am, and that's what I do. Darren is letting off steam in the bedroom. I would never have done that to him in a million years. Maybe you need to ask him. Well, because I smoked for you know, 25, 30 fags one day. Fuck me, what? you know what I mean? I ain't gone around and had a fucking drink, have I? No, but don't let this... No, no, sit down, please. Down. Okay. Darren. I'm going to put it suck. Yeah. If I'd have gone, if I'd have got, do you know what? If I'd, have, if I'd have gone in there and had a fucking drink, no way, and you're not gonna. Then fair a fuck enough, but but every night I stand, you know, I stand and watch everyone else drink, which was know, one of my massive demons. Well, because I smoked 25, 30 fags no, one then, stressful then, day. And, and if it was considered, no. what a load of bollocks. Five forty p.m. John is alone in the living area. You don't have to talk to me. Come here. Do you know what? I ain't angry in that little, like, slightest bit. I'm, I'm, I'm I know. gutted and I'm hurt. I know. And I, and I, and I uh, you know, um, and, 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 and shocked a little bit. Think Darren, about I'm it. your friend. I'm your mate. Well, that's what I thought, mate. But why would you think... Well, because... I, sure. I don't... Why would you think I'm not? I could have been easily up for eviction. And I, and oh, any of us can. So no, could no, I. no, but knowing my reasons for coming in here and yeah. uh, wanting to try and change the perception, of I would course. have thought you would have then, rather than potentially put me up for eviction, come and say, listen, mate, cut down on the fuck of cigarettes and, and just stop, you know. I have said those things. You're shocked and hurt by, not by me, by just the fact that I nominated you. So everything that I've, everything that we've talked about, everything that we've uh, shared in here goes for nothing. All that you're hurt about is the fact that I nominated you. I, yeah, of course, mate. Why, why wouldn't I be? I don't want you to come in here and start smoking yourself, smoking yourself, smoking yourself when you are trying to tell people that you you don't do that. You, you're trying to say that's that you just try listen, to I'm, let me, like this, this smoke. Is, it's my nominate. This, I'm not. So that's not what. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. You know as well as I do. My reasons for doing that are if you've got an addictive personality, which all of us can have to some degree. If you've come in, the first thing you, you've done to cope with that is 
pick up the fag and start smoking. That's my concern for you. I've not said this to belittle you or to hurt you or to put you down. I wanted to be upfront and honest with you that I am concerned that you do that. Right, well, I did it to, I don't, to make you not do it. Like Darren is the topic of conversation in the bedroom. But Johnny's right, one addiction can get you back to the other. I was for a split second a little bit stressed about Darren yesterday because he was so wound up when he came from Tiffany and I thought, please, just not, not to snap back or to anything bad. Because if the smoke goes, the drink, the drink yeah, goes, the drugs. Yeah, it's, it, because, yes, there was a f mind fuck for everyone. If I didn't think so much of you, it I know, and I, and, right. and I wouldn't, oh, I right. wouldn't have said it. All right, well, there you go. All right, I love you. I love you, let's move on. Back to, back to, back to how we were. You promise? Right. I promise you, mate, back to how we were. All right? Right back to how we were. Right back to how we were. Yeah. I fucking love you. I love you too. All right? I, I really fucking do. love you. I love you. All right? Yeah, love you. Six twenty five PM. Some of the puppets are in the living area. I need to eat. I actually need to eat. I'm not kidding ya. I'm gonna have to loosen this, it's killing me. I take my hands out. You can't you can only do any sitting down just sit on the puppet too. Well Honestly, you. otherwise there's gonna be no point in doing this task. If we keep failing with that yeah. things, there's no point. Might as well just sit it out. Might as well stop it now. How hard is it? Like, just don't eat anything and just always sit on the stools. They're, so the, main, they're the main ones. So we might as well just stick to the rules stick, and get the luxury shopping. Is Otherwise, that, if it comes to it and we've lost, yeah. then we've, it's just pointless. He's right. Gemma has a question for Angie. What did you want to get from this experience? It was basically about character development for book personalities. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, that I've already... Yeah enjoyed yeah especially these books that we take a percentage of the royalties for charities yes. so yes i wasn't interested in yeah you know tv yeah. exposure for me but i know i have to be the face of those books so yeah, of course. you know so to be honest Ange, like you didn't know i was i didn't know you was well of course not why would you and when people say like oh well she was married to david bowie i'm not really interested in that, that was 40 years ago you yeah know, i'm like, interested in who she is being someone's wife doesn't define you as a person do you know what my dream would be for you is that your son got in contact with you oh no uh, thank you though I appreciate it. You're not in contact with your son? No. How long we haven't been in contact? Uh, 30, 28 years. Oh, sorry, I, did, I missed this. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. But, and deep in your heart, like, to give birth to a child. Yeah, but when they're a grown man, that's like, it's enough now. Yeah, so he decided he didn't want to see me anymore. He decided that, you know, he didn't want to see me and that was fine. Not a problem. You left, David. I certainly did. Oh, you so did. I oh, marched. No, no, no. Did you? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. But this is the point. I said, no. No, and why you didn't you want yourself. custody of him? I did want. I didn't mind half custody, but I was never going to take him away from, from his David. father. From David. Because he and his father were tight as could be. Yeah. It was all good. It was just one of those things. So you know that was the way it was. Seven thirty-one p.m. Some hungry puppets are in the bedroom, where their beds have been mirrored into puppet boxes. Big brother, this isn't a game. This is torture, and you're starving me. I think one can create tasks that aren't where people actually suffer suffer physical <laughs> deprivation. You know what I mean? Without trying for to, hours upon hours yeah, upon not, hours. Yeah, not trying to make a meal out of it. <laughs> <laughs> David has been resting in a separate area of the house and is now rejoining his housemates. Get under! Yes, Dave! Huh? What's going on? David must be here. Granddad's back! I missed you so much, mate. You look bad. Granddad's back! Yes, that's what it sounds like, doesn't it? Yeah. 
John, did Dude, you miss I, me? Of course I did. No, Come I didn't. Here. Get, I didn't get any sugar I'm from coming, you. I'm coming. I'm coming. And, and you got. And you got to call me doll. Hey, doll face. <laughs> Here's another kiss. You do look better. Mwah. I missed you like me. I missed all of you. David, you're my master and I've not been able to do anything. Um, um, will you check that my shoelaces are tied properly, please? Yes, master. I just want to make sure. Are they, look, is that one okay? It's good. Could you polish, just make sure, front, rub it, yeah. Okay, could you rub the other foot? Okay. Um, could you please take your hair down? I like when it's long. Oh, are you joking? No, it's a mess. I, I'm sorry. I, yes, I prefer, master. I yes. prefer when your hair is. I don't like it in the bun. Oh my God! What is that real? Is that real? All that hair? It used to be like this. This is a bit cool. Oh. Yeah, it's a mess. Cool. Oh I, no! Could you put it in the front? The oh. other part in the front too. I like it when it falls in the front. Oh my. Yes, yes thank you. And could you return, this is something you've never done, could you return the bobby pins to your room and put them neatly in order? I'll put them in the pocket. No, to your room. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. Coming up, Darren has an admirer. I like you. Well, I'm glad you don't fucking not like me then, because I'd be fucked. And Megan goes crazy. This is a game and I'm doing the game and you take it too far by not feeding me. I can't eat that shit. What the fuck? It or 2 p.m. Big Brother has provided puppets with another delicious supper of spam and mash, washed down with cheap cider. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. These are instant potatoes. Did you taste these potatoes? You want the spam? You can have this. Go ahead. That's instant potatoes. I can't eat that. Go ahead and eat it, Scotty. Thank you. I want that shit. Even the mash tastes, the mash tastes like sick. The dinner is disgusting. The oh my lush. God, do you know what it tells, tastes like? Megan, yeah? What tinned dog food Yeah, I can't like. fuck with none Megan. of that. Thank you. I can't mess with none of that on that plate. Oh, oh, oh. I can't eat no, that spam. I'm You're gonna have to have that spam. I can't eat it. It's, I, I can't physically eat that shit. Do you want any of it? No, I'm gonna eat the, ha the, the mash. Mash is nice. It's horrible. Darren has some advice for Stephanie now that she's facing eviction. Try and have a good time now, all right? Yeah. Come on. I will. I'm really worried in case um, I'm not liked on the outside and my mum and dad is going to be gutted because I've came in here to turn things around for all the press and upset her cause. You can't make everyone like her and you exhaust yourself trying to. A couple of tweets, fuck right off. You know what I mean? Don't let it get you. Just be you. Just be yourself. That's you're all I can be. That's all I'm doing. Listen, you're a lovely girl. Thank you. You're, an, you're, a, you're, a, you're a delightful girl. And just be yourself. Just try to stop worrying now, because that's what I'm going to do. I've, I've, I've really, honestly, today, I've just thought, you know what? Fuck, fuck it. Off. Fuck it. Fuck it. I, I'm not, I really have. Ham and duck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Ten or four p.m. Big Brother has thrown a party for the puppet masters. Yeah, the twirl. Oh, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. The puppets have been banished. Get the go. Come on, David. They've got popcorn machine in there as well. Oh, fuck. Could you loving it? Chase is loving it. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh come on. Nancy's loving it. Nancy's Look at her with her knee boots she? on. I bet, she, I bet she loves a party. Ooh, ooh. Okay. 
Tiffany is explaining to Darren why she voted him the most boring housemate. I mean, but you're not boring, though. I never thought you was boring. It was well, just because, just, because of the kind of day but, we had yesterday. I know, but I thought I was quite fair enough. And all I said, we'll have a chat once the tension of the day is gone. Listen, let me tell you, you something. Know what? It don't matter. I like you. I really <laughs> do. And I know you don't care if I do or I don't. But I'm just telling you from a personal point of view, you're like really Well, really I'm glad you don't fucking not like me then, because I'd be fucked. <laughs> 11 33 p.m darren is talking to big brother about john's earlier nomination i've beaten two class a drug addictions a class b drug addiction and uh, and, and drink dependency i've been all of those things so i know that having some cigarettes in the house is no big deal and when I leave, I'll stop again. So that, 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 that for me, upset me. Darren, do you think John's reasons were genuine? I sincerely, sincerely hope so. But if the boot had been on the other foot, if the roles had been reversed, if I had a mate in here, rather than nominate, I would have sat down with them as many times as it took. I would have said, you know, and, and, and said, don't smoke that many, or or, 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 or or don't get like that over this, you know? Rather than nominate my mate. Housemates have been puppets for 13 hours, and Megan is not a happy puppet. Task it over, we can't eat. Have some water? No, I need to eat. I need to eat food. I'm starving. Yes. You think I'm joking? Yeah. And yeah. everyone can moan about it, but I am starving. I'm so hungry. I feel like I want to cry. Megs. Oh, shit. Oh. I've had enough. I'm starving. Big brother, let me in. I'm hungry. I want to eat. No. I don't think that's real anyway. I think she's having a laugh with really. it. No, she thought was laughing at the same time. She was just getting stressed and laughing. She's like, it's not funny having any fucking food. I'm hungry. <laughs> Do you want me or do you want me to wait here? It's not fair. I can't deal with it. It's not fair. Yeah, it's, this is not a game. This is like, I'm actually hungry. I feel ill. I've got to sleep all night. <laughs> Megan, just take a moment. <laughs> no, because I haven't slept all night. And then you do this to me. Look, I can't deal with it. It's not fair. It's not fair. This is a game and I'm doing the game and you take it too far by not feeding me. I can't eat that shit. What the fuck? How can I eat that shit? It's disgusting. I've tried to eat. I even sat there earlier and ate a fucking egg that was centuries years old. It made me be, it made me feel sick. And I, I did it for the team. Like, what the fuck? This is not normal. This is not fair. Megan, the meals Big Brother has been providing during the task are nutritionally balanced. Are you joking? Are you actually gonna have, are you joking me? Would you sit there and eat that shit on a serious level? How the fuck is three crackers and one stupid fig nutritionally balanced? Answer me that, Big Brother. Three crackers and a fucking fig. This week, Angie, Gemma, Jeremy, Nancy and Stephanie all face the public vote. Who steers? You decide. From a landline call 090 204424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile call 64424 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. For Angie, add 01. For Gemma, add 06. For Jeremy, add or seven. For Nancy, add 12. For Stephanie, add 14. Calls to the long number will cost 50p, plus your network access charge. 
Calls to the short number will cost 50p. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. 1.4 million people are registered.